Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm at a friend's house and they were talking about a bird nest that they have in one of their hanging baskets on their porch and that it had two different kinds of bird eggs in it. And I was intrigued because I thought, oh, it could be that cowbird who's parasitized their bird nest. So I came to take a look at it. So I brought my bird book with me. I like these Audubon books because they tell me just what to look for. And I looked at all these comparisons. So come on over, I wanna show you. It's a cowbird. So come here, let's take a look inside this nest. Here it is, it's a hanging basket. And he's got some house plants growing in it. And it was hanging up over the porch here. And as I zoom down inside, I can see it's got two different color eggs inside of it. So the one, I brought my binos and I've been watching the bird, it's a little finch. I'm not as much of a birder to distinguish whether it's a purple finch or a house finch. Probably, I guess, just that house finch. But it is a finch and look, it's lined with, there's some pieces of string inside there that they've lined the inner nest. Oftentimes when a bird makes a nest, they'll make t two nests. One is the outer piece that is the more sturdier twigs on the outside, and then they'll make an inner lining, which is used more for insulation and things to keep their eggs warm. So there's two different nests sort of nestled in one another. So you can see the whitish color, like fabric of some fun. That almost looks like a polyfill over there on that side. And you can see inside the eggs are two different colors. The cowbird who parasitizes the nest, she is very clearly, oops, losing my camera here. She's very clearly laid a brownish colored egg with big dark brown speckles. And the finch has laid little whitish eggs. They're actually sort of bluish. You can't tell too much on this picture that they're kind of blue, but they have some little black specks on them. She's laid four, which is pretty traditional for the finch. That's what she'll do. And let me show you where it was hanging. Here's the neighborhood where we are. Typical, traditional, suburbanite neighborhood. And here's another hanging basket over here to the left. And that's the same way that this basket's been hanging, just swinging on their porch. And the purple finch, well, your finches in general like a horizontal surface for their nests. And so that's what she's chosen. And that stinking little cowbird who's parasitized it has laid its eggs in here, planning for this finch to not only rear her eggs and hatch them but to feed the babies and this cowbird will parasitize as many as 200 and over 200 different species of birds they're too lazy to go lay their make their own nest they just find somebody else's and lay their eggs in their form and make another bird be the host and many times they've observed at least of these 200 and some species where these birds have parasitized nests like 150 times that bird will actually raise the cowbird successfully. How about that system? Give your children to the neighbor and let the neighbor raise them. Makes life a little easier. But that's the wonder of the, the little cowbird. So sometimes people take different measures to control that cowbird. Sometimes they leave it alone. Now, what does the mother bird do? She really has four choices. Sometimes the bird will accept them. They say birds like uh, American Robin and who was the other one? and the cowbirds, they'll kill them. They'll break that egg and get rid of it. Other birds may build a separate floor over top of the cowbird's eggs and begin nesting on top. And sometimes the native bird or the, the good bird will just kick out that speckled egg from right out of her nest. And sometimes they just accept them, which is obviously, obviously what's happened here. The finch, the finch's egg is gonna take almost just under two weeks to hatch. The cowbird is approximately about the same. So, and of course, if, I don't know if you can tell this, but the cowbird egg is a little bit larger and it actually has a little bit shorter incubation period. So sometimes they can hatch first and make that mommy work real hard to raise it. So, wow, isn't that awful? That little stinking cowbird gets to use free, free rent, free, free food, free all around. So take that cowbird.